All right, good morning, everyone. Lewis Sports Slim, Man Over Market, and this is January 26th. All right, here's an economic calendar for the week. Uh, tomorrow, uh, today's not uh, much news going on tomorrow. Durable Goods, Red Book, S&P, Case-Shiller, HBI, New Home Sales, Consumer Confidence, Richmond Fed, Fed Manufacturing, all right, State Street Investor, and your bill, bill auctions. Also, the FMC, FOMC starts their, uh, goes into their, uh, uh, quarterly meeting, and that starts tomorrow. We got MBA purchase day application, petroleum on Wednesday, FOMC meeting announcement on Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Thursday, <clears throat> jobless claims, Bloomberg Consumer Comfort, pending home sales, EI Natural Gas, bond auctions. But here's the big one right here. See this right here? Employment cost index. Employment cost index. This is the figure they're going to be looking at. And you got GDP also on Friday. But the big figure is, are Americans making more money? Is the, is the price of their wages going up? Could that, if they're making more money, then that should spawn some inflation and get rid of all these deflation worries that we're worried about. So it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting week for uh, uh, trading. So let's take a look at the overnight action. I put out something last night. All right, I talked about two things, right? I talked about the gap, right? So the gap, S&P's opened up at 2036 last night, and gapped down like it used to be in the old days before there was 24-hour trading. As you can see, they have now filled the gap, and I said last night, I guarantee you they will fill that gap. All right, so not many people ever tell you they're going to fill the gap, but I saw it for 30 years, we filled the gaps. To me, this is an ugly high, incomplete, incomplete, a lot of volume last Friday. The market did almost exactly what I thought it'd do Friday. We only went down to about 46, and at the end of the day, we had the sell-off, right? So, these single prints, I thought they'd fill them in last night. I kind of outsmarted myself. I put orders down here to buy them because I, I knew they'd go back up and fill the gap, and uh, I didn't get in the market. But this is showing me they put in a lot of volume down here, all right? And I think the market is built, building a base, and it's going to go for the highs today. So I'm still looking for market highs. Now, with all these uh, indicators coming out and so on, we're you know we really have got uh, you know we set the stage for some good volatility. All right, so let's take a look at S and P's. All right, so S and P's are right here. All right, we got uh, 2054. Okay, was the uh, point of control. 2054 half is the top of value. Bottom of value is 2048. It looks like we're sneaking up to get inside of here. So here's the gap. I put it on the chart last night from 2036 up to 2043. All right. And uh, the market is in an uptrend, as we talked about after the breakout on on uh, uh, on f Friday. All right. So we've got the uh, bull bear zone today be 2030 half, 2030 half. Okay. Uh, right now, the oscillator is still printing neutral. It went from, it goes it's right here, as you can see, it's red, right? It's going green. Our short-term indicator is going green. Long-term indicator is going green. They need to cross over, and then we'll look for uh, uh, this to go green, okay? This is a this is proprietary, a five-minute pivot. This is the 30-minute pivot, all right? Let me go here and see if we got... Uh, where we at on the five minute? I put this thirty minute up because of the. Uh, I want you guys to see the shaded value areas. All right. All right. Five minutes starting to work. All right. So we've taken out the five minute pivot here. It looks like at uh, what is that? Twenty three. What is that? About twelve thirty last night, and the market's been slowly creeping up, and we're approaching getting in value. Um, so. The five-minute pivot is in a buy. Now, remember, I trust I trust the five-minute pivot now more on the upside because we've broken out and we are in this uh, in a in a uptrend based on the market. Both the Nasdaq, Dow, and Russell all are above their five-minute pivot. They're printing green. The five-minute here. Here's how we see it. I I like to see my CSI, and this is Pat Tabbit has retooled this for our own use. Here you go. Green, 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 green. All right, and uh, so looks like the market's on the on, on the uptrend on the five-minute pivot. Okay, 
So that's where we're at with that. All right, let's take a look at bonds, okay, bonds. All right, bonds um, under a bit of a little selling pressure. All right, they made an overnight over, over height up here at, uh, what is that, 150.29. I'll tell you what, anytime it gets up here, you can just sell it because all the people that have those bonds, they're selling them up there and they're taking their profits. I think there's a lot of profit taken. And then Friday is going to be big for this number because, you know, the Fed's running out of time when they can raise rates. If Friday uh, shows that there's uh, actual wages increasing, then you will, uh, uh, you know, have a more chance that they can raise rates. All right. Remember, still the flight to quality around the world. Europe is in bad shape. They're buying our bonds and our banks are cleaning up and our Fed are cleaning up. There you go. Buy those financials. Buy the financials. All right, 150.05. 150.05 is our bull bear zone in here. 150.05. Top of value, 150.02. Bottom of value, 149.18. And where is the point of control? Point of control should be around here. Looks like I entered it wrong. Um, I think the uh, mode is 149.26. 149.26 was the point of control. All right. So uh, let's take a look at this on a five-minute basis. All right. Five-minute basis, okay. Market went into a sell last night about one in the morning, and it's been working its way into value. Again, 150.05 is going to be, there it is, 149.23 is the, the mode. And then we got... Uh, our bull bear zone will be 150.05, 150.05. All right. Let's go to oil. Okay. Oil. I uh, said last week I thought the market was going to head towards 44, 40, you know, back down to $44. We made a low last night, 44 and a quarter. It's made a little bit of rally. Uh, we've taken out the five minute. It's fighting to get back inside value. 47.75 is the point of control. Top of value is 46.73. All right, we made an over high, overnight high last night, way up here at uh, uh, 49.09. So, um, look, I, I think that oil is a sell rallies in, uh, until this uh, until there's a, the instability uh, instability. I'm sorry, instability in the Middle East uh, is straightened out and it, you know, the problem is th there's no global demand for oil. We have oil. I think they said that, you know, we're, we got a demand of, what, 15 million barrels a day. But the rest of the world has slowed down. So um, I think that's it. So we'll use 4509, our bull bear zone, 4509 for oil. All right. All right, everybody. Have a good day. See you at the end of the day. Good luck trading. Remember one thing when you're trading, buy low, sell high. I know. I know. I'm a sarcastic little jerk. I'll talk to you later. Good luck. Remember, I'll be on uh, uh, Top Step Trader tonight, all right, at 8.15. Bye.